Hey Redmi Note 10 Pro users, you all got the Cover OS 5.0 Deja Vu update for your devices. So I had come up with the review of this room. So if you are new to my channel, please consider a subscribe if you really like my content and smash the like button if you really like the video. So without wasting a further ado, my name is Arav. Let's get started to the video. So guys, first of all, this is the whole clean UI of the Corvus OS that I am getting this time and there is some downfall from the S4.0 4.1 version to this Deja Vu version. There is slightly downgrades in benchmarks but doesn't mean that benchmark gives us the total performance of the ROM. So let me start from the settings. This is the whole settings UI of this. From here you can check the open Raven desk. You can check the updater from here what the version you are currently operating on after that this is the build date of 15 11 2022 which is latest built after that network internet does find works all around and connected device does not have any of the issues in the apps you get the default apps in which you are getting a quick step launcher with the customizations i am saying that quick step launcher does providing a some customizations. I think this is a modded launcher of Quickstep. After that, you get option of use taskbar. Like if I just enable this, you get the taskbar option, which is get which gets disabled if you click over here. After that, taskbar looks good. Also gives <coughs> one UI desk options to li like feelings that. Apart from that, all you get the storage option for your all storage. If you click uh, above here, you get the options of the notification app settings is also there notification history you can enable from here you can check out notification history here and you are surprised to see that i am operating nothing font it is so cool to use that after that device app and notification you get the quick step launcher notification application apart from that you can see that enhanced notification in the wallpaper and style you get the option of wallpaper colors if you want this wallpaper you can do check out my telegram group you will get these wallpapers you get the <coughs> maximum android theming palettes you can do check this out at your own if i just select anyone i have just selected this so i like this you can also to check out this upgrade option is also there you can do <coughs> use upgrade according to you according i generally use 5 by 6 like new y after that system icon pack is also given you can Use with your own system headline fonts. As I have said, I am using nothing font. It looks so awesome and pleasing to me. In the security option, you get fingerprint and face unlock settings. I have not enabled because I am just testing the room, but it does works. If I just <coughs> for sake of current testing, if I show you that it does works fine. You can see this. The face unlock does works. The fingerprint option does working. So there is aren't an issue of this and you can easily do these things done above here like i'm just registering my fingerprint and it's successful i'm doing the live test because of your all that it is working all around after that if i just do this it is sometimes get hang and you can see that it is being working but i don't like the taskbar i eventually don't liking the taskbar I don't know why, but I don't like the taskbar. Security, I've told about you. More security settings is you get inside of here. So you can do check this out. And the privacy option, you get dashboard. It is necessary to use that for myself, not for yourself. I'm just asking, telling about myself. After that, this is the Google and everything you got. In the system, you got the languages. And here, the app languages option is also there. You're not getting much app languages support option above here. On screen and everything is given. Gestures, gesture navigation option is given. Not much customization available in this part of the room. But yeah, you are getting and these are already known settings to your all. You can see this. After that, there is thermal profiles option. I will tell you about this in the later part of the video. So don't be afraid of that also. So after that, you can see that date and time option is given with the developer option is pre-enabled above here. 
you can check out and you are not getting to switch to 60 hertz or 120 hertz it is set to default 120 hertz i don't like these things because we all know that 120 hertz does drains battery a lot but they have to give the option also now this is the new ui of the battery all we are you are known to it and this is my <coughs> usage and you can see that it does performs well after that i just want to share the all uh, some things about display if i just increase the brightness level and decrease i don't know why but sometimes i have to see that if i just disable the auto adaptive brightness but <coughs> switching off the adaptive brightness does not mean that it is get switched off sometimes it automatically gets turned on and off without enabling adaptive brightness i don't know might be there is some bug here you can see advanced option you get the always on option this is working fine you can see this always on does works fine but i don't use that my <coughs> battery uses does not consist of these things here you can see the all options above here dark theme is also option here and override dark is the fu fully dark theme enabled from here these all settings were working fine natural and saturated option is also given <coughs> apart from all that i haven't talked about customizations why so let us see there is no much customizations i don't know why but they haven't given much of the customizations <coughs> you can see this these all settings customizations were working fine i have checked double check that so i am not going to tell about these things because no one wa watches these things everyone wants to do their at own after that i just want to share the benchmarks that i have run in this device first of all this is the antutu score which is 3,35,173 with the cpu of 94922 and the gpu of 63,595 which is the which is having 2.5 degree celsius heating gain and 3 degree not 3 degree 3% battery drop all over here i do run the storage speed test and it is surprised to see that i am not getting much good scores it's 2 lakh 28,363 which is not so good after that i also run the geekbench let me see you the scores what i have took this is all we are run with the help of thermo profiles this is the single core score that we are getting and this is the multi core score you can see this i am not happy with the scores i don't know why but this doesn't mean that this device is not giving good score this is a vulcan open cl score of the gpu with the 1293 this is also so so because i have given the pixel plus ui 5.0 review in that this does that rom does provide a better things at all after that <coughs> this were the all things about this rom if you ask me about the safety net safety net does passed with a not a issues after that device certification if you ask me i will help you out what's the device is getting certified or not this is the device certification you can see the device is certified hurre you can run packing apps with no hassles the one thing i want to note if i just open my twitter and you can see that twitter opening and scrolling is lag full i don't like these things but it is whole like a bug or what jitter but is laggy so one thing i want to note you about that this is the l1 certification and uh, if you ask me about the cpu throttling test it does not perform so well because i have that uh, images and screenshots let me help you out to see and this is the cpu throttling test which is run for 51 minutes with a 15 minutes with a 71% max performance and i'm not happy with these scores i don't really like this because they all run with the <coughs> performance and benchmark mode sorry guys if you um, getting my voice not so good because i am not well that's why and guys i have found a best gcam for this device redmi note 10 pro if you really want the video on that i will surely drop the video in upcoming um, weeks so if you really want then please please comment down and if you really like my like my content then please 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 give a like to my video and subscribe to my channel because it means lot to me and also you can join my telegram group and channel for more info about the devices and the installation method is so simple just do the twrp go flash the zip of corvus os and format data you will good to go and dig into this room so my name is arav i am signing off 
will meet you in the next video till then bye bye